Okay, so <coughs> what we hope to do here is use the change of base formula to solve this problem. So the first thing I'm going to do here is this. One, I'm, I'm, I mean, we're looking at this thing and I'm thinking, can I change this? Because if we could get these to be like bases, if I could write 5 in base 6 or 6 in base 5 or convert, transform either one of, transform both of these into some alternative base, then we could compare it much more easily. But it's just not possible here, so we have to look for another strategy. And that strategy is to use this change of base formula. So I'm going to just start off by taking the log of both sides. I'm going to take, I'm just going to take the log of both sides. So all I'm doing here is this. Why can we do this? Because this is algebra, and as long as we do the same thing to each side, we should be in pretty good shape, I think. Actually, you know what? Let me take this a little bit so I can get this. Log. Whoops. Stay in colors. I think the log of 6x minus 2. And now, hopefully, <coughs> what you're seeing is what I'm seeing is that we can use rule 3 of logarithms, and we can actually take these things and reel these things back to here, can't we? So we can put that back here. We can put this whole thing back here, can't we? So that would look like this, I believe. We would have this 2x plus 1, so 2x plus 1. Two x plus one log of five is equal to x minus two log of six. Now, in a minute, I'm going to distribute these things in, and people have asked me, "Well, I thought you're not allowed to do that. You can't just if this was log base a of." blank, that would, it would be meaningless. But this has a numeric value. This is a number because it is true that 10 to some power is equal to 5. I just don't know what that value is. But this is a, this is a number now, isn't it? So we can distribute this in. And that would give us 2x log of 5. So 2x log of 5 plus log of 5, right? Plus log of 5. And if you're wondering what I did, just sort it here and here, right? And then the same thing would be true here, and we'd get x logs of 6 minus 2 logs of 6, wouldn't we? And now what we're going to do is something that you're probably really familiar with, which is to move everything that has an x. See, look, we have an x here. And we have an x here. And what we want is all terms that have values of x on one side and everything else on the other side. So I'm just going to move stuff around algebraically. I'm going to add negative log of uh, negative x log of 6 to both sides. And we'll get 2x log of 5. I'm going to subtract this from both sides. So minus log, x logs of 6. And then I'm going to add the opposite of this to both sides, so equals negative log of 5 minus 2 logs of 6. And that's a mess, isn't it? Okay, from here I'm going to factor out. I'm going to factor out a little bit. And what we want to do is, remember, we're trying to solve for x here, so I'm going to... Right, so I'm hoping that you're seeing these x's, and I'm saying I'm going to factor that out. So factor out that x, and x times what? Well, x times x times, and at the same time, if you don't mind, I'm going to factor this out. I'm going to bring this up here, so I get log of five squared. Right, I'm just using rule three here backwards. Um, minus log six. Isn't that right? Plus log six here because look what we have here. Let's take a look. We have a look, we have a negative here and a negative here. I'm just going to factor out that negative sign if you don't mind, and then I'm going to simplify in here a little bit. So that's going to look like this, right? Log of five here, right? Plus because look, if I multiply this negative sign times this, I get this negative sign. This negative sign times this positive sign gives us this negative sign back. Log 
of 6 squared. What did I do here? Just move this back up to the top, didn't I? Move that back to there, right? That's rule 3 of, X, of uh, logarithms, isn't it? Okay, close that up. So far, so good. Uh, this we can do a little bit, right? We can have, this is x times, right? This is being subtracted, right? So this is log of 25 over 6, right? This negative sign tells us we should be dividing, right? Here. And this is log of this addition sign tells us we multiply so 5 times 36 that 36 is just 6 squared isn't it remember our our goal here the whole time is just get this x here by itself so if you don't mind I'm going to divide both sides divide both sides by log of 25 6 log of 25 6 man what a mess right and finally we get our answer here which is that x is equal to x is equal to oh whoa, 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 whoa. All right almost forgot this right here there it is right there it's equal to the opposite of and let's see what I got here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. good 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 right log of 5 times 36 if you want to do this multiplication go for it over log of 25, 6, right? Log of 25, 6. Okay? And there's our answer. From there, what you can do is you can plug this into your calculator because your calculator can, can do all this work from here, all right? I mean, this, ha this has a numeric value, and uh, it says uh, x is approximately equal to negative 3.64 if you care, but I'm not sure I do, but... So there's that answer, all right? Okay. That was fun, right? Woohoo!